Hi everyone, um, welcome to a walkthrough of one of my projects called Artist Feed. So Artist Feed was created using the PHP web framework Laravel. There were a lot of stressful points in this project since this was my first time programming, programming in Laravel, but I'm proud of this project because it challenged me in many ways and, well, I'll elaborate on that a little later, but for now let's just get into what the website actually does. So here's the home page. It shows just a feed of various um, posts. And the whole idea of this social network is for art and craft lovers to share their work. Um, yeah, so there is a like system. Um, we can't like it right now because we're not logged in as a registered user. Um, so let me just... Um, log in as super right now so I have full control over everything. So as you can see it changed a little and now we can like things. So I guess they didn't like that so now there's two likes. I don't know why you would like a photo called cake when it's not cake but anyways. Um, so I'm going to just show you how you can create a post now that you're logged in as a registered user, which you might have noticed was not there a moment ago. Oh yes, yeah, so um, let's just, I don't know, we're, no, we won't, okay, well, we'll pretend like we drew spaghetti. Um, this was really hard to draw. So tired. So, oops, cannot type. I'm just, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go grab a drawing of spaghetti. Um, let's uh, go with this. It's watermarked, but I mean, we're gonna delete it anyway. How do I do this again? Open image and tap. Yeah, oh, it's big. Okay, so yeah, you can add a new post and you have to already have your image host somewhere else and you put in the URL. So I'm going to publish it, create spaghetti, looks beautiful with everything else. It actually matches pretty well. Um, also, okay, why did it add to see it? Look at that. I don't know why, but I think when I screen record a little bit, uh, it messes things up a little bit. I'm not really sure though. Um, so, I don't know, since we're super, we are able to delete things. So let's just like get rid of cake because that's not cake. Um, let's get rid of spaghetti because, I mean, I don't even own that image. So we're left with all of, um, this art. Also, um, <laughs> it's just random uploads of all my art, but we'll just pretend that lots of users use this website because it's super popular. Um, it allows users to register and log in. Um, and I did that with the help of built-in features that Laravel provides us with. Um, so I, I was able to um, email users welcome letters and password changes. Um, and it was really easy to do. And that's one thing that I enjoyed about Laravel is um, the ease of doing this. Um, after coming from um, like a very basic model of how PHP works, and this um, kind of bridged the gap between some of the challenges that I faced. You can change users roles to post mod, theme manager, and user administrator. So for easy access, it displays um, all four of the possible roles someone can have. Now I didn't mention this one, just the super, and that's just a user who has full control over all three of these roles. Um, so let's just search for me. And now here I am. We can delete her um, for me, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> um, I could edit my, oops, what does that do? And see what I mean when it's weird about recording. Um, so I can um, go here and I can change myself to be any of these roles, but um, I think I'm okay with just, um, oh, what the heck, let's just make me a post mod. Let's just do that. So now I'm here because I now have a role. Um, and 
like I say again, that's just um, for ease of access to see who has a certain amount of power. Now, um, the rest of these registered users, because like I said, all these are registered users, but registered users, but they all have a certain power um, in my social network. Um, so that means that everyone else who registered is the least privileged, privileged users. Wow, I cannot talk. And um, you can search them. So um, yeah. Um, let me just take you to the themes. Now, again, I'm going to be able to see this page, and these are all the CDNs that I uploaded from the Bootstrap stuff. Um, I forget the exact name, but it's a website where you can get all these Bootstrap pre-made themes, and I can, um, I can add more themes. Um, I can edit, so if, right now I'm pretty sure that Minty, yes, Minty is true. Is default. I should probably um, when this is not fully finished, but when I go back, I'd like to put um, yes or no, um, just to make it more user friendly. So um, I don't know which one do I want. Let's let's make this one our default. Um, and the cool thing about this is that if I try to delete this, it says no, we can't delete the default theme because what else is it going to do? It's it's like the website needs a theme, right? All right, so now that you've seen how my social network artist feed works, um, how about I show you some of my code? Just like a little walkthrough. So um, I used a PHP Storm for my um, software of choice. Um, at school, we signed up for student accounts with JetBrains, so we use a lot of their products. Um, but you know, it's just um, your average ID. Um, so yeah, um, I started out with making a composer project. Um, um, here's my roads all set up. Um, you know, we got the feed. Um, this one right here ensures that every time we hit the website, this is what we're being directed to. We're being directed to the feed. That is our home page. Um, hmm, what should I show you? So we have all of my models right here. And each of these models has the relationships so that it connects all of the relationships I have um, in the database. So it's just a SQL one. Um, I can change to a SQL light one as well, and that can be um, changed in the EMV file. So um, anyway, that's getting into a little bit of the specifics. And um, yeah, I, I just want to show you how I did a few things. So um, you may have remembered I have multiple roles that a user can have, and we need to know who has these roles. So. Um, this little function right here is authorizing them, and I'm reusing that throughout, um, I, I believe it's in my controller. Um, there's a lot, okay, the controller, so, um, user controller, yeah, so right here, um, in my database, oops, I just did something, oh, there we go, in my database, I'll have, of course, the super, the user administrator, um, the post moderator, and the theme manager so um yeah this is just saying like, the current user is authorized as a user um administrator then um let them do their thing you know so um you also saw me demonstrate how themes cannot be um deleted um if it's set to the default well it's the same kind of thing, and I didn't show you this in my um, website walkthrough, but you can't delete the super. The super is always going to be ID 1. Um, so it's always just going to say you can't delete this user, and it's the same idea with the theme, the default theme. Um, so um, yeah, um, let's see. What else can I talk about? That's just syncing all the rules so it remembers. Um, maybe let's talk about my like functionality where it's not completely done. If um, the user does like the post, 
attach that entry or that action into that user's ID column, um, which is where the post likes are. So it's adding an entry into the database each time. But if they click it again, they're, they're detached from that database. So, you know, it goes back, if it was two, then it'll go back to one and it updates. The user can still like it again. Um, so there, uh, maybe I'll talk about how the database is set up. So, like I said, there's an SQL database and then there's the MySQL. Um, database, so, um, lit with Laravel, you do artisan commits down here. And what I did was I, um, well, I seeded data to be in there so that there's always going to be like some sort of sample data. And, um, that's a lot. Um, but now here is where all my migrations are and where I created all the tables and sent it to, um, the database. So, um, everything on my application, I believe, is a soft delete, so nothing is ever um, hard deleted. It will always exist in there. It will just say that it's true or false if it's soft deleted or not. Um, uh, Laravel does like the user, um, part of the user table and um, password. Um, so yeah, that's a thing I like. I, I guess just um, the biggest challenge of learning this is that it has a whole file structure. I believe it's, it's MVC. Um, so like if we come over here to my views, which is um, how we can even see anything. I believe it's uh, resources. Yeah. So it it's done in um, Blade. So um, if you can recall me logging in and then things changing slightly, like we're able to like something or we're able to create a post now that we're logged in as an authorized, authorized users, uh, user. So I do that by using a, a at guest and this is something that is built into Laravel. Um, just let me see. So I do have a feed right here. Oh yes, here's an example of where we cannot see the likes until we're added in. So if you are a guest, all you can see is the likes. If you are um, a authorized user, you can um, now actually see a button, and we end this with an end guest, and um, and that's how we can hide and show certain features depending on um, who we are um, on the website. Um, are you just a random person or someone who signed up? Um, so yeah, um, I think that's all I wanted to show you for code now. Um, of course, if you have any questions or requests of things you would like to see, then I would be more than happy to um, continue to talk about this project. Um, but for now, I leave you with um, this. And um, yeah, that was my first Laravel project called Artist Feed.